welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here. My name is Emma. I make videos. I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should go down below and do that right now. So if you saw my last video, then you know that my class just got back from our senior trip and we went to the Navajo Nation in Arizona, which obviously took a long time to get there. We took a plane, which was the first time I've been on a plane since I was, I think, 12. So that was a fun experience and I decided that there are things that I didn't realize that I would want on a plane. And I know that I'm going on a trip at the beginning of next year and it's going to take airfare, I hope. Air travel. Airfare's the money. Air... Whatever, I'm going on a plane. So I thought that I would make a video of essentials list of things that I realized that I needed on my trip and things I'm going to take with me on my next trip. Also, none of these things are in any particular order. I just kind of wrote down a list when I was on the plane and I'm gonna now share it with you. So this is an item that is very particular to me that I have just recently found out that it's something that I will need, is I would like to bring a personal handheld portable battery operated fan. If you've ever been on a plane, then you know that you can get motion sickness, so you should probably have the fan blowing on your face. Yeah, but what happens if the fan is broken up above you? Which that happened to me, and I ended up feeling a little bit nauseous by the end of one of our flights. So I think just to be safe next time, I'm definitely going to bring a little portable fan with me because I don't want to risk that again. Also, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you probably have put together the pieces that I'm gluten-free. I eat gluten-free food, it's not that exciting. But I do know that because of that, I need to bring snacks with me on the plane. Yes, they provide stuff, but usually it has gluten in it, like pretzels or crackers or peanuts, which I aren't not gluten-free, I just don't like peanuts. So there's that whole situation. But, so next time I will definitely be bringing my own salty snacks for the plane. Also, something that I didn't really think about before my last trip was that I needed to pre-download movies, shows, or what was the other thing? Or my music, didn't even realize that I would need to do that. I mean, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it because you have to turn your phone onto airplane mode. And when you do that, you won't have connection to the internet or be able to use data or anything like that. So you have to pre-download all of these things on Netflix or Amazon Prime or in your iPhone uh, movies or music or anything like that. You definitely have to pre-download those before you go on a plane. So if you're someone who wants to watch stuff or listen to music on a plane, then you definitely have to pre-download all of those things. And what are you going to need to go along with that? Headphones. <laughs> I'm really tired. I don't think you guys realize. I'm still, how, how am I still jet lag? I don't know, but I definitely am because I mean, it's been two weeks nearly and I am still really tired and trying to catch up. So, sorry, I'm not very interactive today. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm not very lively. Now moving more into things that I will wear the next time I go on a plane. I'm definitely going to wear leggings again. I thought that, that was incredible. It was very comfortable. I could, you know, sit however I wanted in them. It's better than jeans or anything you have to have a belt with or any sort of skirt because you can get really comfortable in leggings and that's great. And then also for me, I'm definitely going to be wearing another long sleeve t-shirt because for me, my arms get cold a lot and I'm going to bring a jacket too, but I like to have that long sleeve t-shirt because I'm, I've never been hot on a plane, so I think it's better to have layers that you can take off if you need to. I would also wear comfortable shoes that are easy to get on and off for security so you don't hold up the line for anyone if you have to, you know, unlace your shoes or anything. And to go along with those shoes, even if you're not wearing it when you're getting on the plane, you can have cozy socks so that you can take your shoes off as soon as you get on the plane and then you're comfortable <laughs> and it feels a little bit, you know, more relaxed. And even if you just want to take them in your bag and you can take off your shoes and then put the comfortable socks on, you can do that too. I just, that's something that I found I like to do. Also, for me, I just wore my hair down. I think a ponytail is really uncomfortable because it can hit the back of the seat and that's uncomfortable and braids can feel really tight. Um, when we were coming back from Arizona, I had my hair in two braids and then I decided that I didn't want that anymore. I didn't think that was comfortable. So I took the braids down. I had like wavy unbraided hair and then I put on my headband with it and I thought that that was really comfortable or I could just have had my hair completely down but the headband was nice because it kept the hair out of my face too. While we're on the subject of hair, I also think that it's important to have, at least for me, a little hairbrush in my bag or, you know, an actual hairbrush but you can just put it in your bag that you have with you and it's easy between flights or if you're one of those people and your hair gets tangled a lot, like me, you can just 
brush it whenever you want. The next one is also really important. So if you know on a plane, they give you something to drink, but they don't do that until you're already in the air for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So if you want, you can bring a water bottle. The only thing about it is you can't have it full when you get to the airport. You have to get past security and then you can fill it up. Now, if you know airplanes, you know flying, you know all of this, then I sound like I'm stupid, but hey, I didn't know a lot of this. So, you know, maybe other people don't either. So it really is important to take a water bottle with you because if you first get on the plane and you really say you're really thirsty, there's nowhere for you to get water. So you have to wait until they would bring you anything to drink. But if you have your water bottle that you filled up after you went through security, then you've got that with you too. Now, maybe you're wondering, what are you gonna carry all this in? You can take a backpack. Now, I have been one of those people who has never had a backpack before, like when I go traveling or anything. I've always just had a purse. And I cannot tell you how life-changing it was to carry my school backpack with me. So I took all of my school books and everything out of there. I kept my first aid kit. I put in those cozy socks that I was telling you about. I had my hairbrush, my water bottle, a book that I was reading, which is really good by the way. It's Jurassic Park, not all the way through, but you know, whatever. And then I also have like pens and pencils and stuff for when we got to Arizona and we had to, you know, write stuff down or anything in our notebooks. But it was just really, really life changing to have my backpack with me because it was easily to put everything in. I never felt like it was too full. It always fit under the seats. It never didn't fit anywhere, which that's what I was afraid of with this, um, as opposed to just carrying a purse, is that my backpack wasn't gonna be able to fit anywhere. It was gonna feel bulky or anything, but it definitely didn't. And I thought that there was a lot of room on all of the planes that we went on, so, you know, it worked for me and it could work for you too. <laughs> So if you liked this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, if you liked any of this, these things or you have any other suggestions, be sure to comment it or DM me on Instagram. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you have any video suggestions for anything fall or festive or, you know, anything coming up in these next few winter months, then you can definitely, definitely let me know down in the comments below. So I will see you guys next Sunday at eight o'clock. Bye. I'm sorry I was on a lot of fun today. I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, bye. Along with that, what are you going to need? You're going to need headphones. Man, these are tangled.